guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Beautiful masculine, Sherry here from the FX Giving Crew. How's it going? All right, so this is going to be a masculine reading for December the 18th until January the 1st. So it will encompass a two-week period. Um, I will be doing a energy update on uh, the 1221 portal. Uh, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday. So I think I'm going to do a crystal ball. So it's a 5x5 five five grid, distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. Four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energy of the reading, and then one center card, which represents the main message from the universe. Okay, so these are pretty good and shuffled. Um, yeah. I also got my little deck here as well, so let me just give that a quick shuffle. Okay, so beginning with the first cornerstone card, um, main energy of the reading, Queen of Cups. So this is water energy which is all about emotions the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very open with her love she's um, she loves you unconditionally she's very loyal um, she is also somebody who's very intuitive um, she uses her senses in order to feel out a situation or someone's emotions so she's very very emotionally intuitive so the Queen of Cups represents the one that you love unconditionally. And so it is a cornerstone card. So main energy, of course, is going to be the feminine. Next we have the Fool. So this is taking a leap of faith. It's starting from zero, um, having no expectations, no attachments, just um, moving into this new adventure called life. Right, and just being excited about its enthusiasm, childlike. So there's a desire to begin a new life, and it seems to me like you've made that choice to take a leap of faith. Next we have, wow, the crown chakra. So this card is I know. It is a deep knowing within yourself. Um, it is also your direct connection to source, so crown ch chakra activation is your connection to your twin as well as a collective. Um, so you've made a lot of epiphanies and realizations in the past and it has freed you. you there's a sense of you being reborn in the twin flame reading. Um, and recognizing the feminine as your divine feminine, as your twin flame. And so you've been reborn. Uh, and in, like I said, it's this, there's this conscious awareness, um, this illumination that comes from love. And that's what a twin flame uh, connection is all about. It isn't necessarily about reuniting with your twin flame in the 3D. It is about this conscious journey of awakening that we are on. Okay, so next is Queen of Wands. Wow. So the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Notebooks Given, she is very passionate. She is the center of attention. Um, she is creative. She inspires. She, um, you know, somebody who is on that spiritual journey because Wand is spirituality. So she's a spiritual leader on a certain level. And in the Twin Flame reading, there is that repeated theme over and over again of the feminine stepping into her higher calling, into this spiritual leader type of role, and she's resisting that. So we can see that kind of cropping up again, and there's this beautiful 
awakening energy that sits right beside her. So you're being drawn like a magnet towards the sun, towards, um, you know, this positive energy. And again, you can see that as a repeated theme in the Twin Flame reading. Uh, the masculine, you know, the feminine's reading was very enthusiastic, enthusiastic, very powerful, very exciting energy, and you're picking up on that in the external environment. So, like I said, you're being drawn to the feminine, to her energy, um, to spirituality, to the thing that makes you feel love. So, final, not final cornerstone card, but a cornerstone card. So, nine of swords. So this is staying up at night, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terrors, being consumed by negative thoughts. That's a very strange card to have. Following all of these cards, there is um, <clears throat> sorry, a progression from past to future. So, you know, this is, yeah, even though there's a, you know, there's a rebirth here, you are your own worst enemy. You are stopping this, you know, from fully manifesting, from fully taking that leap of faith, from fully trusting in your deep knowing, from, you know, trusting your heart um, and allowing negative thoughts and fears to stop you. The nine does mean that it's nearing the completion of that. So let's see what comes next. So next is the recent past, ten of swords, very nice. So we got the nine to the ten, P perfect synchronicity. So the Ten of Swords is cutting away the things that no longer serve you. It's clearing that energy away. It is a dark night of the soul, but the Ten means it's an end. So this is being betrayed, stabbed in the back, abandoned, left for dead, basically. But again, the Ten means that that's over now. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it is below the Queen of Cups, so this could be just the mental noise surrounding his fears. Right, we saw that fear of having his heart broken creeping up in the twin flame reading and, and wanting to reach out. Next is the Knight of Wands. Very nice. So we have the Queen of Wands, and here's the Knight. The Knight is a movement forward. It's very fast, furious. Um, you're riding that, you know, horse of passion um, towards your future. So you have a directed focus on what you want and you are like the phoenix rising from the ashes that is perfect synchronicity you're coming out of that darkness you know like the phoenix rising so the here we have that a new beginning uh, that's more spiritually aligned here we have the birth um, a transformation and then a movement forward very directed energy. Next is the Nine of Cups. Wow. So another nine right below the crown chakra. And this is what the knight is moving towards. The nine is wish granted. Um, your wish is coming true. Right. And you feel that energy for sure with the queen. Um, this is celebrating life. Um, being surrounded by friends and family. Um feeling pure joy and happiness right a lot of celebration here so again wish granted and this is what you're moving towards you came out of that darkness decided to follow your heart next yeah. wow okay so this two cards came up now the first one i noticed was the um high priestess or sorry the empress here and i was looking at the queen of wands at the same time so we see like a progression here, a uh, this deep knowing that this person who has influenced your life is indeed your twin flame, your, you know, your mirror, your dream come true. Now the card behind it, because I, you know, th this card was the one that was supposed to come next, which is the magician, but I feel that because this one showed up first it wanted to be presented as so. So um, you still have the power to to fully manifest this into your life. I feel that you are recognizing who your twin flame is. 
you're coming out of a darkened state. She is influencing you. She is um, encouraging you, cheering you on, um, you know, um, empowering you. With the magician, this is a master manifester. Very cool synchronicity that we have the zero, which is the fool, the beginning of the fool's journey. We have an activation here, and here we have number one, another major arcana, which is the beginning of um, it's starting to create your reality. It's manifesting your dreams into reality, your thoughts into reality. So the Empress card is also a card of manifestation. So these are all wanting to manifest and having those dreams manifested. You're seeing manifestation here. You're seeing it here. You're seeing it here. You're seeing it here. So very powerful energy. Um, and you're moving towards that new beginning. All right, so present moment is the Two of Pentacles. So this is change um, happening in the 3D, and as that change transforms your environment, you feel um, unbalanced, right? You, you, you feel like you're being pushed and pulled in different directions. So the card means that you need to become resilient, bend with the wind, allow that change to to happen. So you, this is what you wanted. You are manifesting this change. This is what you desired. You let go of those things in the past so that you can move forward towards this, you know, your, your true love. Beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. That actually kind of... Um, shocked me <laughs> to see the devil there. Look at all these beautiful cards and then boom that nasty face in the present moment. So this is a chain codependent relationship an addiction. Something is holding you back in the 3D and it has to do with the ego it has to do with the 3D reality um, so either this is placing a lot of importance on material possessions but I don't feel that at all I feel this uh, this awakening, this release from, <clears throat> sorry, the 3D. Even though you want a new beginning in 3D reality, um, it isn't about manifesting possessions. It is about love and manifesting love into reality, love and passion. And so, but this is um, still there, right? It looked like it was being released over here. So... Let me just pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by the devil? Whoa, jeez. Okay, like a thousand cards just flew on the ground here. So obviously we can't look at them all. So I'm just going to pause it real quick. Okay, so the cards that fell out. Time of chaos. They are your twin. <clears throat> um, competition, challenges, obstacles. Good luck, good fortune. Oh, there's another one there. Transformation. And yes. So, you know, I was picking up on those kind of energies for sure in the Twin Flame reading as well. Transformation. You know, you, you need to release um, that ego, release that chain. And, you know, obviously this, these fears are all mental, right? You're believing those whispers. You're believing maybe you're not good enough or the, that this is, you know, too good to be true, right? But, you know, crown chakra, crown chakra, dreams coming true, your twin flame. And this next card here is going to be the message from the universe. It's like you're being divinely directed or guided and, you know, that manifest manifestation is happening because of that crown chakra activation you know on a deep deep level that this isn't an illusion that you know those emotions that excitement that passion that you feel within is real what's not real is those thoughts in the devil okay what do you mean by the devil spirit please Okay, so delays, um, competition, reoccurring problem. Okay, so what I see here is karmic energy. Something's holding you back. It's causing you 
you know, to feel like you can't move forward. Um, now, the word competition, that triggered a memory of the Twin Flame reading. Um, you guys had the Five of Wands in the present position, so there's this feeling that you needed to overcome obstacles. Something was standing in your way. You can see the devil in your present moment is there, right? So this is what's holding you back. This is what needs to be released, so let's just kind of cover her up there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm avoiding the devil. The ego is just it's nasty, right? Um, it's not an energy that you weren't looking at. Yeah. Okay, so, whoa, all right. The next card is going to be from the message from the universe, and it is the star card that just popped out. So, again, the other wish granted card. Uh, you wish upon a star, and your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So this is a card of hope. I love this card because my name is Sherry Hope, and I, I just really connect with that card because this is the energy that I want to send out into the universe, something that is healing and um, provides you know, people with that soothing, calming, healing energy. Um, with my readings and so this card says that the worst is over now and yes you can see the worst is over and that there is hope for the future and you know the devil it feels that you have released it but it's still there it's still causing discomfort but you know, allow that wind to come in and, you know, <clears throat> soothe, soothe your soul. I see windy energy here and here as well, so it's a very calming, soothing feeling for sure. Okay, next card. Oh, I guess I can put these down, stop shuffling now. Okay, so next, it nice, heart chakra, beautiful, right beneath the Divine Feminine Empress card. So, um, this is feeling unconditional love in in your present moment. When you reflect on the past and how this feminine energy has made you feel, um, it soothes your soul. It helps you to heal. It helps you to release that devil so that you can be free. You know, um, beautiful. All right, next is... The Knight of Swords. So another knight. You got two knights here. So that, like, this is movement forward, but it's very chaotic movement. It is air, so it's windy, very windy energy. So it's kind of like, um, oh, one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so the Knight of Swords. Uh, so this is a champion. He comes in very quickly, like the wind, and you know, rustles the papers up and then leaves quickly. So it's not a very directed energy like the Knight of Wands over there, but it d does make changes. It um, He uses his sword to cut away barriers, um, and he is all about communication as well. So I feel this uh, activation happening and a desire to move away from the devil or cut those constraints um, and he's healing his heart at the moment and that's that's what's giving him the strength to to make changes or for you guys to make changes I keep forgetting that I'm talking to the masculine and I always feel like I'm talking to the feminine for some reason it's strange okay so Another quick shuffle here. So what is in the near future? Two of Swords. There's that indecision again. Conflict. Mental conflict. Cognitive dissonance. Having two choices. So we have two twos here with the ten there. So it's like the masculine is again looking at the past. Um, you know, the Two of Swords is having two paths. One is morally correct. The other one is what's going to make you happy. Both have far-reaching consequences because you can't make that choice. You're stuck at a crossroads. 
very synchronistic of the twin flame reading, being stuck. So a choice needs to be made. Next. Nice. The Page of Wands. So the feminine had this in her present position for the twin flame reading. So there's a brand new beginning, right? Beautiful that it's right below the fool, which is very similar energy, except that the fool doesn't have expectations or attachments. It's just freedom. Whereas this is having an idea, um, one that's very inspiring. And what you do is you get on that horse, that um, you know, knight of wands, and you move forward with that idea. So it's like you're you're picking up the pieces where you started. You know, you're you're starting again, um, and you've gained your freedom from that uh, devil. That's absolutely beautiful. That's a perfect card to have in this position. So you make that decision, and you saw in the twin flame reading that the masculine did in fact make that decision decision in the future. Um, but it came with the Five of Cups, though. There you have it, the moon. So, fears. Um, this is all the things that are unknown, right? And you saw that in the present position with the masculine, with seeking that truth and then finding that clarity. So, there's a desire to um, have answers and start a new life. Right, but he has to face his fears first. There's that Five of Cups again. You cannot freaking plan this. Oh my God, you guys saw me shuffle. So the Five of Cups, synchronicity, this showed up in your um, future position for the Twin Flame reading. So this is um, mourning, loss, heartbreak, pain, closed heart. And so... Even though your heart, you're feeling that unconditional love in the present moment, there's a sense of loss coming from the past um, that comes back to you again in the near future. And so this is something that you need to work through and release that before you can fully allow that Ace of Cups into your, into your heart. And the Ace of Cups is showing up in your fear position, remember? So don't be afraid to love. Next is the Three of Pentacles. Wow, this is a card that showed up from the message from the higher self. Wanting to feel grounded, stable. Um, this is a, you know, a firm foundation, but it also means that there's more work ahead. So we do have a growth here from the two to the three. Okay, so final row, cornerstone card. No way. Oh my God, four of wands. Wow. So you decide to go for it, right? Overcome your fears. And as a cornerstone card, we have the Four of Wands. Confirmation, twin flame, connection, true love. This is uh, the twins uniting in the 3D, sharing that spiritual path or journey together. So this card also represents, you know, it's very Christmassy energy here, right? It's sitting in front of the fireplace and just enjoying each other, um, feeling relaxed, at peace. Uh, so this is a card of celebration of engagement or marriage or buying a home. Um, <clears throat> it's a sense of arrival, but yet you have your whole life spread out before you. So you choose love. That's so beautiful. One leads to the devil, the other home. Okay, so next. Nice, lover's card. Oh my God. Wow. So here we have all that passion ignited, right? This is... Um, fuel being poured on the, the fire. Um, so there's a spark, and then this is gasoline, and then this is like a blast, an explosion out of the gate. Okay, and again, a roaring fire. This is passion ignited within um, a twin flame connection. It's feeling that passion on a soul level. So this is more of a sexual energy, and it's a longing for, you know, union, longing for oneness. So there, again, is that recognition there of your twin flame 
your soulmate wanting that connection and having it manifested, but it doesn't feel like it's there fully just yet, but let's see. Four of Swords, which is beautiful because this card represents healing your heart. The card before it is a Three of Swords, which is a broken heart, very similar energy to that Five of Cups, deep mourning and pain, loss. Um, so Four of Swords is, you know, moving away from mental noise, um, cutting negative things out of your life, seeking solitude, and healing your heart. And we want this card so that Ace of Cups can come back in. Nice, the High Priest. So this was in the Fear position for the Feminine, uh, which is beautiful to see um, for the Masculine, stepping into that higher consciousness activation from the feminine from you know true love unconditional love and also we have that crown chakra activation here these two cards that rebirth so you fully step into this um, spiritual leader type of energy or you could meet your twin flame you re you reunite with her uh, and she is you know She's in this spiritual leader role because we do have that Queen of Wands up there, and this is kind of a a progression. And we saw that progression in on the feminine side. She feared this card. She feared really um, being that guiding light, sharing her wisdom, connecting with her tribe, her community. Um, and here we we have that kind of tribal energy showing up. So. Um, you know, I almost feel like the, the feminine is helping the masculine to see his power within himself. He becomes a, you know, leader, or you do. I keep forgetting that I'm talking to masculine, sorry. Okay, last cornerstone card. Oh my god! Oh my god! You cannot plan that shit. Right, you guys can see I put my cards up here, I shuffled them. You can see I'm pulling them out right in front of you. Wow, there's that Ace of Cups. This was the card that was in your fear position. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is perfect to come after the Four of Swords there. You've healed your heart, and here it is. Love comes as a cornerstone card. You manifest love into your life. Oh my fucking God. I'm sorry, guys, but this is freaky. To have these cards as a cornerstone, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, you have the, you know, heart chakra with your divine feminine. You know who your twin flame is. Um, follow your heart. Um, move towards that thing that makes you passionate. Okay, and, you know, heal your heart. I see an activation and I see union for a lot of um, twin flames just in this reading. All right, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. So let me pull one card as a me final message from the universe. I'm so happy to see this, this reading for you guys because the Twin Flame reading was a bit difficult on the masculine, but you can see how that, that whole transition, that transformation, that rebirth it has taken place for, for you masculine there. And it's going to um, result in love, unconditional love union but it's like this very um, minor pause before there's an activation of some kind okay one card please sea chariot interesting Okay, so number 27, oopsie daisy, I can't believe this card showed up, oh my god, that's nuts. Okay, so Sea Chariot, once I rode a passive babe at the mercy of those around me, a defenseless, defenseless child with demeanor so mild as to encourage complacency. So we see that childlike energy here. You know, the demeanor is so mild, just a very gentle energy. And 
here we see that movement of the chariot, right, with with the knights. Okay, so, yet, as time passed by, I endeavored to try a temperament more becoming, so I grabbed the reins, and I've made great gains as I charioteer, commanding, yes, the knight, charioteer, grab those reins and go for it. Okay, so a white-haired beauty rides upon a chariot pulled by curious fishes. She is optimistic, in control, and the captain of her own destiny. Um, though young and inexperienced, she is prepared to take command and forge her path, her own path. So the meaning is assert control. It is time for you to assert control. You have given the reins over to others in too many areas of your life, and it is time to grab them back. Take stock of all arenas of your life, your profession, personal relationships, uh, monetary considerations, group associations and home obligations. Determine where you are dissatisfied with your level of involvement and make a plan to take back control. It is perfectly acceptable and desirable to trust others to help you with some aspects of your life, but it is up to you and you alone to make sure this help does not turn into dependence. You are the sole captain of your ship. You need to be at the helm when and where it matters the most. So. In the Twin Flame reading, there's a sense of you don't need to be alone. Reach out, ask for help. And you can see that same mes message being repeated here. So, um, and also, you know, this you've got to take control of your life. So grab those reins again. Get back on that horse and move forward. Um, and don't allow dependence to hold you down, right? This is a codependent relationship, and this is about... You know, not allowing people to control your life. So, very, very, very powerful message. Um, a lot of synchronicities. Beautiful reading for you guys. So, I do hope this helps. And again, um, I do hope you have a wonderful holiday. All right, cheers.